What's up, guys? <clears throat> this is what it looks like after a long day. 9.54. We're about to clock out for the day. Um, was a day. Um, did my first ever, like, film of the day. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it in here. But it's it's hilarious. It's bad. It's bad. Um, but just to give... I'm going to give you guys a rundown. I, it was... It was not very good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get better. Um, let's see though. We started the day, uh, went to a town a few minutes over. Um, had to get some stuff at the co-op there. That um, that my town doesn't have a co-op, so I live in a little place called Ray County, and I went to an even smaller little town called Decatur, and uh, but they have a co-op. We don't anymore, so I didn't get a new backpack sprayer and uh, some herbicide. So knock that out. Um, then stopped at uh, over there and uh, saw some of my old buddies from my day job because I used to work over there. Um, left there, came back to the house, uh, hooked up to the trailer, um, headed down the road to another little town called Sell Creek. Uh, stopped in at the steel dealership there, um, picked up a new uh, steel MS211 chainsaw. Um, went on down the street a little ways, knocked out one property came back, uh, did an estimate, um, right down the street, uh, commercial estimate. Um, and, uh, left there, came back up the road, knocked out one, two, um, then came back to town, knocked out one more, went across town, knocked out another one. I don't know, like maintenance, I think like six properties a day. I'm not sure. Anyways, knocked that out, uh, came back to the house. My trailer, my truck is a disaster. All this new equipment I've bought, pole saws and chainsaws, and I had my head trimmer repaired, got it back. Um, just the, the truck was a mess, the trailer was a mess, so I spent the whole evening, probably three hours or so, took everything out, organized it, put everything back in, um, got everything pristine uh got everything ready for tomorrow got a big cleanup job tomorrow um so i'm gonna do better hopefully get some cool like before and after there uh, i'm gonna do a cleanup tomorrow and then go mow see how long that takes but i'm gonna shoot for um four I'm gonna mow four after i get done with that hopefully that'll just take a few hours um but uh anyways did all that and uh so been a long day but hey rewarding day love them love everyone i wouldn't trade it for the world would not go back to my day job i'll take all the bad days um but the good days the good days make it all worth it and today was a good day um so i'm just got done doing some uh, bookkeeping by the time this video is over it's gonna be almost 10 o'clock so i'm gonna throw this in with uh, the filming i did today throw it together throw it up on the page um, it's been 24 hours. I don't have any subscribers. Who's going to be the lucky one? Who's going to be number one? We'll see y'all. What is up, guys? I'm, uh, currently headed back from my local, uh, steel dealer, which is, uh, which is actually an Ag Pro, big John Deere dealership and a Skag dealer. It's actually where I bought my new Skag. Um, but we just picked up, uh, one of the, uh, steel, I think it's a 91 R, uh, combi motors and a pole saw attachment for a cleanup that I've got to get done this week. Uh, I was going to try to do it today. Probably not going to happen today. Um, I got to go up the road to, uh, another steel dealer and grab, uh, grab a chainsaw cause they didn't have the one I needed. And, uh. I didn't get up and get after it this morning as uh, as early as I should have. Kind of sometimes you watch a little too much news, drink a little too much coffee, and hey, when you're running the show, who's you? You know, you're only late if you say you're late. So I don't make a habit of doing that. But this morning I just just uh, slow rolling. So, but uh, we're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna hook the trailer up because uh, where we're headed to get the chainsaw, um, 
there I've got some properties out that way so we're gonna kill two birds with one stone we're gonna grab the chainsaw we're gonna knock some properties out out on that end of town and uh, so I'll catch y'all when we get to the first property all right guys so we're actually gonna swing in here first to the uh, the steel dealer it's on the better side of the road than the turnaround uh, you know you're from uh, East Tennessee when you got this on a four-lane highway I love this place though wouldn't trade it for the world but anyways there she is let's get swung in there see what we can find This one out with the old V rod. Sometimes do it with the with the big boy, but I just love this new V rod, so we're gonna knock it out. Of here. business right up the street and, uh, I'm gonna give an estimate real quick so I guess I've never gotten this in here but anyways here's my this is the rig we got right here what we got right there 